Hi guys, this is Maria. Welcome back to Succulent Living. Today I want to show you my uh, cacti collection from all of my succulent collection. I think I have decreased the most cactuses. Uh, I don't know why. I think because some of them got larger and it was harder to find them a spot during the winter time because it's so long here. Seven months they have to be inside. And also because I got so interested in Echeverias, Gryptoptalums, and Crusulas, that that part of my succulent collection grown a lot. So I'll take them off the shelves, they're over there, and um, yeah, show you which ones I have. So let's start. Alright, first one that I have here is Echinocactus Grusoni Golden Barrel Cactus. It was uh, much smaller when I got it. Um, I don't know if it was Lowe's or from where. And uh, grew quite a bit. It's almost, this pot is almost getting too small for it. Um, then I have this very soft, fuzzy white cactus. Also was much smaller, so it grew kind of bit in height. It's called Esposta Lanata Nana. I think that's how it's pronounced it at least. <laughs> Echino Vivia Rainbow Bursts. I had these in the past and I had a lot of infestation and I had to replace it. Then I used to have much bigger Ascentoserius tetragonus or fairy uh, castle cactus. Then there is Stonoserius prinosus. Um, this one I had in the white pots that were on the window seal and um, it was very restrained uh, in being in such small pots, so I moved it in a little bit bigger pot. Then I have here some blue color cactuses. I don't know ID for this one. I got it from Ted's Greenhouses. It's really pretty. Um, this one also, maybe it's like a purple prickly pear cactus. Not 100% sure. It's a little bit wet because I saw some millie bugs and I just sprayed it. Then there is this. Um, Mexican post cactus that I just recently got if you watch one of my last videos this is Polaskia chicha I got from Ikea and then there is Polaskia chende I think it's called it's a little bit different than the, this one here next I have some uh, not identified cactuses like this uh, three little cute little uh, blue ones uh, then I have um, Stenocerus prunosus, uh, gray ghost organ pipe. And then this one has grown a lot. It was in the original in the white pots on the window seal. Bloomed a lot this fall. I'm sorry about the dog barking. And um, uh, millibugs kept coming where it's uh, blooming, so I've been kind of watching it. Then there is Astrophytum ornatum and Rebutia of some kind that I got from Home Depot. Then here I have a Rebutia um, white-haired crown cactus. I got this from Mountain Crest Gardens uh, late fall. Then uh, this um, Mammillaria cuttings I brought I think two years ago from Serbia. So they rooted and grew quite a bit. They were like super small cuttings and uh, they haven't grown any you know, branches, pups yet, but they haven't had pests. Uh, there is some kind of peanut cactus variety, Mammillaria prolifera. Uh, then I have two that I think are the same, uh, some kind of peanut cactus variety. Uh, they do have some yellow spots. I don't know what that is. Um, then there is Tephra cactus, Articulatus, Paper Spine cactus that has been doing really good for me in the past two years and then this one that finally had uh, this one doesn't have spines but it's very similar to that one tephra cactus uh, straw formis and that one finally grew up, up this summer and then there is this uh, purple moon cactus that bloomed a lot this year and this one bloomed as well beautiful pinkish reddish blooms it's some kind of chin cactus I think but uh, they both were attacked by mealybugs, so um, I just sprayed them. Then here I have Notocactus magnificus balloon cactus. It, it's growing so nice, like it definitely became larger. 
and I think it needs a bigger pot it's just so pretty this one uh, I didn't think uh, I think it didn't get enough sunlight at some point so it got a little more skinny on top but it's really pretty too healthy these guys have been struggling with mealybugs a lot I don't know how many times I sprayed them I'm about out to toss both of these and not to have them ever again because the, this particular variety whenever I get it it just always gets mealybugs and same thing for this and then they get into these little tiny creases and it's really hard to get rid of them same thing for this one monstros something um, but this one is doing better this is Opuntia that's super dehydrated. This is the one that grows outside, so maybe um, it was a little bit too dehydrated being inside. Another cute little, another cute little Opuntia here. And then there is Opuntia rupida minima monstros that has like a cinnamon color dots and some kind of peanut cactus variety again and then here I have um, Austro Cylindropuntia Subulata Monstrosa that's super dehydrated it's been close to the lights and I think it needed some water um, Ripsalis Horrida Mistletoe Cactus has been attacked here and there with mealybugs so you can see some white uh, on some areas so I need to spray it but overall these two do really well for me this is Ripsalis Pacifera mistletoe cactus and then this one I had much bigger <laughs> so I had to take cuttings because it had terrible infestation this winter um, this is a uh, Salinicerius testudo um, dogtail cactus but I, I didn't have where to place it so it didn't have good conditions the the bigger plant so maybe I should have taken it to conservatory to do better and here are the cactuses that have been downstairs in the basement so all the way in the back is this Quaisto cactus wintery white one and that one is really tall that's why I was saying I don't know what I'm gonna do with some of these really uh, big ones if I don't get the greenhouse um, and this uh, prickly pear snow um, Opuntia is also um, getting really tall it's so soft uh, like you're petting the cat <laughs> it's really cute and I just noticed that it had on the tops a little bit of white um, for great for mealybugs to sneak in between these hairs and I think it's been just stressed being upstairs. This one was upstairs actually. Everybody else was in the basement in a hot room without uh, having proper rest. So um, I think they all like to be in a little bit cooler place, which I am struggling to give them. Um, so there is Opuntia microdasis bunny ears here. And it's been pretty healthy. Maybe there is a little spot with a mealybug, but otherwise very healthy. There is Mammillaria lungata, another variety of peanut cactus. This cactus um, blooms white blooms. I uh, they bloom this year. Then there is this um, Pylocerus azurus or blue torch cactus. Really pretty. Um, then there is variegated Joseph coat that one has grown a lot as well this is the one that I got from a neighbor at work and it didn't really grow at all this year I don't know if it's actually having some issues or what or it's too small of a pot for it um, then there is this one uh, Cylindropuntia imbricata here is another Opuntia baby Rita uh, this one uh, has grown so much the original mother plant that I have at the conservatory I probably need to sometimes record it to show you it's really tall almost tall as this one and these are just the cuttings that I took and then there is Opuntia cylindrica cristata here um, so yeah so those are the ones downstairs 
And I almost forgot about my uh, zigzag cactus, um, fishbone or rickrack. And I got, I actually had a um, bigger one in the past that got some kind of fungus and I, I just didn't want to risk it and keep it with my collection. So I got um, some rooted cuttings from Ted's greenhouses that were quite expensive. And they grew new some new branches, longer branches, and um, um, as you can see, sometimes during the winter time they stretch like this. I don't know if they don't have enough sunlight, and then they also grow roots. This happened in the past. Um, some branches are not as bad as the others, but I like when they have this nice shape here when it's not stretched. As always, thank you so much guys for watching. Hope you enjoy update on my cacti collection. If you have any questions or comments, you can pause below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Uh, see you in the next video.